We are thrilled Look to welcome seven-time <laughs> NBA champion, Big Shot Robert Ori to the Jump family this season. <laughs> That's analyst. a picture. That's a picture. He didn't want to go for eight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there you go. Robert, welcome. We love you. have been here as a guest, but now you're officially part of the family. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. High fives everywhere. Finally, someone that's respected on set from a player standpoint. <laughs> to balance you out. Yeah. 100%. That's really what's important I'm for ready. us. Um, you guys just heard my conversation with Commissioner Adam Silver. We talked about the James Harden situation. Robert, what has been your reaction, <laughs> my former Houston Rockets friend, <laughs> um, to Harden's initial trade request and, frankly, his actions since then, which led to a $50,000 fine yesterday? You know, um, he's been very fortunate that the Rockets have sort of bent over backwards for all his requests, so he could be returned that favor. And he's going out and being, as like everyone is saying, unprofessional. And, and it's kind of disappointing in the sense that he doesn't realize that he's – He's looked upon as a leader of this team, not just a leader of the team, a leader of the NBA. So people are eyeballing him and want to say, hey, how are you going to handle this situation? There's so many times that athletes want to say, oh, I don't want to be here and have situations a la me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and having a situation with Danny Ainge. But, you know, you have to be professional. I hate what I, how I handled my situation. But for me, it ended up really great. It brought me to oh, the Los yeah, Angeles Lakers. And I, won, yeah. and I won three championships. What? But with him, you know, that's, that's been done. So he needs to be calm and says, because he has to think like this. It's hard to trade me because I asked for the max contract. I'm yeah. making $40 million. And in this day and age, you just can't go where you want to go when you're making that much money. Yeah, no, look, that's a great point. And I'm so glad growing up in Phoenix, I'm glad that you were going to throw the towel throw. <laughs> no, because look, we as players, every, every player down the line has done something that you're like, okay, that was a mistake. That was yes. unprofessional. Myself included. Everyone has. Like, that's just part of doing it for an extended period of time. But James is not helping himself. He's just not. I don't care what he says. I don't care what the beef is. We know you want out. The Houston Rockets are shopping you. So what your best thing that you can do right now is be as professional as possible. Or else it's going to take longer to get you out of there. Right? Like, you don't have to be a model citizen for Houston, but you do have to be a model citizen as far as, like, how the league is viewing you to make this trade easier. Yeah, and, and look, I think his trade value is still going to be high enough. He's James Harden. Yeah. Yes. He's been top five in MVP the last six, the last seven years. Players like that just don't become available. But that being said, you do have a responsibility to your teammates, right? John Wall, Boogie Cousins, James Harden, they have no beef with each other, right? Yeah. They, they right. like each other. Yes. They're friends. Yes. And at some point, you are making these two guys in particular who are finally getting back into the NBA after extremely grueling injury rehab not get off to the start they deserve, frankly. And I just, I wish I could see a little bit more accountability between teammates just because you have special privileges as a superstar. But that's not, but, though, but that right there is not special to... privilege. Well, no, I that just... is just being an ass. Like, that's just like <laughs> what you're doing right there, given all of the things that are going on, everything that our country yes. is dealing with, everything that's going on in our sport. Like, this was the first game that is now postponed. Like, you're being an ass. Like, what you did in Vegas, okay, that's fine. You're here now, that's fine. But then you didn't go out. You're not allowed to go to these places. You know the rules, and it doesn't matter if you behave like this. They're not going to allow this in Miami or in, you know, Philly or Anywhere. any other place. So Anywhere. why do it now? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.